everybody, Rose here. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Um, on here we do a lot of like subscription unboxes. Um, I give my opinion, nothing is sponsored. I don't get anything for free to show you. So this is all just bought with whatever funds I have. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you part of our family. And then also give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. The today's box. <laughs> is brand new for me. This is the first time I've ever gotten this box. So this is by Beacon Box. Um, so you can go to beaconbookbox.com. Here is their information. Um, their box also says shining light on awesome reads. So um, today we're going to go ahead and go through this. Oh, you can also see them on Facebook and Instagram and all that lovely stuff. So anyway, Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, so this is May's theme box. Um, this was a fight for the throne. And then it came with this little card. And on the box on the back, it does give you like everything that's in this box. Um, <laughs> so the first thing we have actually is just this little packet of wildflowers. It's kind of um, it's funny. I mean, we're all stuck indoors anyway. What else can we do? Go out and plant some flowers. So this will be fun. I think my son will like doing that. So that's our first item that we have in the box. The second thing I see here is... Let me just set this down over here. Uh, so we have a little white box here. And I think this is... If I've seen previous boxes, they're doing like these crystal ornaments for the tree. Or where I guess wherever you want to hang them. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's for my favorite books. Okay, so it says, You don't threaten a life of a queen and live to tell the tale. And it's by uh, Kendra Blake. And this is from Two Dark Reigns. I don't know if you can see that. I'm wondering, do I have anything that I can put it up? I don't know. I need something black. I don't have anything. Oh, wait. I do have something black. Hold the phone. You know, I'm going to show you what the heck I'm opening, because it's like, what are you opening, Rose? Um, so we also got this mouse pad, and it's gorgeous, you guys. Look how pretty that is. I will have to use this. Um, so this says, you don't need to be gifted with a blade. You are your own best weapon. The winner's kiss. So I'm guessing that's the book. Anyway, um, let's see if this will work. I'm pretty sure it will work. I hope I don't drop the darn thing. There you go. You can really see that. That's pretty. Huh. Okay. All right. So I like that. We got that out of the way. The next thing we have in here is... Oh, this is kind of cool. So it shows that it can be word war. Yeah, weird. Good job, Roz. Um, it can be worn as a mask, a hat, ponytail, I don't know, a bandana or something. Oh, okay. So we have, um, just books and, oh God, what are they? Bow and arrows. We've got keys. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, and some daggers. Hmm. I'm not putting this over top of my head. So anyway. <laughs> Basically, it stretches, as you can see. Put it over top of your head, and then you can wear it around your head here. You can put it up, wear it as a face mask, especially during today's times. So great. What is that from? So the bandana mask is a Graceling-inspired bandana. I haven't read the book, so it doesn't really surprise me. Uh, the next thing we have for all of you Games of Thrones lovers out there, myself included, up until a certain point. We're not going to get into that because it's not part of this. Um, anyway, so this is Winter is Coming by Games of Thrones. So this is just a sleep mask. So you have this nice stretchy. Oh, it is. Well, that's kind of nice. So if you got a big head, <laughs> it's adjustable. And then, of course, it goes over top of your eyes. But I got lashes on, so I ain't putting these on. Um, so there's that. 
The next thing that we have is no mourners, no funerals. So this is that. Um, and this is actually based off of the book that I'm currently reading, which is The Six of Crows. So I'm super excited about this. Um, these are character cards. Mm, okay, these are not my favorite character cards. One, they're huge, which that's great and all, but I don't know. Like, I mean, you've got shadowing all against the guy's face, so it's kind of hard to tell who he might be. And they don't tell you who they are. So if you've read the book, in which case I haven't read it yet. I've just kind of picked it up. Uh, so I guess I will eventually know who these characters are. But if my friend Tara is watching, because she's read these, if you know who these characters are, can you leave the names in the description down below so I know who the hell they are? Because <laughs> uh, I don't. And then our final one. And then this is what the backs look like. So it's just got the crow on top of like a candelabra or something like that. Um, these are okay. I kind of like just the packaging they came in more than anything. I don't know. Just the way that their faces are all shadowed and everything. It's just kind of terrible that you can't really see them. So, um, but there is that. And then we also have this card in here. So we have a blade. It says we each survive in our own way. And this is from Throne of Glass. <laughs> and then on the back, there's actually a recipe. Bacon with the beacons. <laughs> Rowan's chocolate cake. Mm. They actually give you an, like a recipe. So there's that. I don't know what this means. This, oh, sorry guys. Pick it up for you in case you want to pause it and get the instructions on how to bake this cake. But there you go. So that's kind of cool. And then finally, we are down to our book. Yes! Okay, so when at all costs, House of Dragons. This looks wonderful. So this is from Jessica Jessica Clues, author of Shadow Bright and Burning. I don't know. I've never heard of her. Um, this is definitely giving me like Games of Thrones, obviously, dragons and everything. So it says, five houses will hear the call to complete for the dragon throne. A liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief, and a murderer will answer it. And who will win? Okay. Um, oh, we also have um, an Arthur author. Arthur, <laughs> author card in here, uh, which is just a replica of the front of the book. And then on the back it says, Dear Beacon Book Box Reader, you've heard the phrase, here there be dragons. Well, in this book, there are dragons galore, along with trials, basilisks, betrayals, magic, and mayhem. Writing House of Dragon was sheer delight for me, and I hope it's as much fun for you to read as it is for me to create, Jen. So here is the author's letter. Very cute. And then in here it says, the emperor is dead. And so the five houses must attend the calling where one of their own will be selected to fight for the throne. In this proud dragon empire, the oldest child of each house is always called always called the golden child, the one who has spent a lifetime preparing to complete the glorious trial. But this year, it's different. This year, these five outcasts will be pitied against one another. A liar, which is Amelia. She must hide her terrifying powers or be put to death. Nice. A soldier. Lucian is a warrior who has sworn to lift, uh, who has sworn never to lift a sword again. Interesting for a soldier, I guess. A servant, which is Vesper, is a dragon trainer, and her skills alone will keep her in the game. We have the thief, which is Ajax, knows nothing will be handed to him, and he must take what he wants. And then we have the murderer, which is Hippera, I hope I'm saying that correctly, was born to rule. Nothing and no one will keep her from the throne. Let the battle begin. Okay, so we have... Three girls and two boys. That's sad. 
but that's okay. Um, the overall book is just blue with our silver foiling. And then of course, like all book subscriptions, you get a signed copy. So here's our signed copy. Um, yeah, I'm quite interested in reading this. So if you're interested in the author, she's also wrote the Kingdom of Fi on Fire series, which is Shadow Bright and Burning, A Poison, Dark and Drowning, and A Sorrow Fierce and Falling is the other three books that she's written. So um, we'll definitely go ahead and give this a try after I finish The Six of Crows and then The Crooked Kingdom and The King of Scars <laughs> because I'm behind. <laughs> But anyway, so this was a Beacon Box. Overall, I am very satisfied. Um, if you guys have seen my previous videos, um, I used to get Lit Joy Crate and I had a huge falling out with them. I'm not happy with them at all. Um, so I've discontinued my services with those. And so I've got this box. And then also I'm waiting on um, April's box from Fay Crate. And then they just charged me for May. And then sooner or later, June 15th is going to come. And then they're going to charge me for June. So anyway, I don't know when I'm going to get those boxes. However, Fay Crate has been very, very upfront with the whole COVID-19 thing going on. And like what to expect, what they're waiting on. So that is very nice. I just hope that my expectations aren't too high since we're waiting for a box. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions for book boxes or just subscription boxes in general, I am always open. I love to hear your comments and I'll definitely go ahead and try out some new boxes for you if you'd like. If there's anything that you've seen, you're not sure if you want to try, be more than happy to go ahead and do like a one-time purchase once I get it and do a review for you. Um, so I hope I get a thumbs up for this video. You guys have been great. I hope you guys stay safe and I will see you the next time I get a box. Bye.